give the rest of the way. 17 point. Here's the timeout story. The Lakers have four full. Boston, two full timeouts plus their 20. Now, you cannot. You have to be able to put people away. And this is what the Celtics have not been able to do this year. But give them their due. They've been playing with injury-riddled teams. A lot of different players night in and night out. 11-point lead has been cut to six. Here's Frank Krakowski blocked by Shaquille O'Neal. Look out now. Four on O'Neal. Three on there two. There's the loop pass to Eddie Jones from Nick Van Exel. And the Lakers have come within four points. 3.18 to go. Yeah, you have to use your head here right now. You have to be smart. You have to go to your bread and butter. Lakers on a 7-0 run the last minute. Dino Raja. High arcing shot. His trademark misses. And here come the Lakers again down by four. They've made up seven points in a hurry on the Celtics. And we have under three minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Van Exel to Eldon Campbell fouled, and he can cut it to two. Now that's time Van Exel decided that I'm taking this one-on-one -on -one to the rim. When the defense rotated to him, he was able to split and make a beautiful pass to Campbell. The Nissan Altima ranked the best car in its class in initial power. Financing for the Nissan Altima is now available at these special rates. A long time ago, someone said, I'm better than you. The fearless face off, they charge headlong into the crease, into boards, into history. Fiery tempers spill across frozen tundra. Players get faster, more aggressive, less polite. A frenzy dash for a cup where keepers are unconscious, forwards are psychic, and hats are for tricks. Human sacrifice in the name of Lord Stanley. And into center ice, it's carved, I'm better than you, and I can prove it. NHL 97, if it's in the game, EA Sports, it's in the game. Vin Baker to NBA Chess Astro Level B. Ah, uh, Vin, thanks for coming. I'd like to show you something. Jersey test positive. Commence starter self performance analysis. We'll be with the others. Today we're simulating a home game to test thermal protection. Yeah! You're the man! You ever been to Milwaukee? Temperature reduction in progress. We're going to show you Elton Campbell setting a screen. Now, as Van Exel comes over and comes down, you'll see Raja double team with D. Brown. Now, keep an eye on this now, and then watch Campbell come right down the lane. Now, as we get to this point right here, you're going to see Frank Bukowski is looking. He's got two guys to defend. Unfortunately, he picks the wrong guy. You see, as he opens up, that opened up the lane. Beautiful. And then the foul. So Eldon Campbell will go to the free throw line with 2.49 remaining in the fourth quarter. The Celtics lead the Lakers 96 to 92. Eldon Campbell, we talked about Shaq's struggles at the free throw line. Eldon Campbell, who normally is a brilliant free throw shooter at 81%, only one for five from the strike tonight, and that is unlike him. And he's been a solid free throw shooter, you know, throughout his career. Uh, uh, let's just see if he just steps up here and accepts the pressure. Those are his numbers on the year and what he's done tonight. And he's still struggling from the line. If Lakers can always point to the free throw shooting as what could cost them this game in a close battle. Well, as a team, they only shoot 67%. That's 27th in the league. And they're 50% tonight at 13 for 26. That won't get it done. 96-93, however, they've made a dent in the Celtic lead. Well, ML Carr made a good point to us before the game. That being, we get leads, but we cannot close. That's our biggest problem, closing the game. They've had double-digit leads in all but two games this year. They've had an 11-point lead in this one. Dana Barrows with a three, and maybe this one won't go by the boards. Barrows with his third from downtown has 15 points as the Celtics continue their balanced score. 99-93, Boston leading with 2.15 to go. Here's Campbell in the low post against Eric Williams. Misses the short jumper and into the hands 
of Dana Barrow. Nice block at that time by Eric Williams. Even though Campbell shot up over the top of him, he kept them away from the offensive rebound. Under two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. And the Celtics beat the Lakers. Here's the feed into Williams. Knocked away. Crowd wanted a foul. Instead, it was a turnover. Van Exel against the bigger Roger Travels. He traveled all the way, going up against the bigger Dino Roger. Yeah, you know, that, 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 that was kind of... Uh, reckless. You know, yeah, it, it, reckless is a kind. Uh, because you're going in, you're inside of two minutes. There was no need because it was a two against three. But Hubie, it is his 25th birthday. <laughs> I, I think I think have we we beaten that in the ground. Yes, we have. <laughs> One thirty-eight to go, a six-point lead for Boston. No. Antoine Walker for three. Oh boy! So Barrows and Walker hit critical downtown baskets, and they have broken this game open. It's 102 to 93, and the Lakers want a timeout. Now, just, just keep an eye right here now. Walker just measures this one. Shaq is late getting there on the rotation. And the Celtics, 5 of 9 from three-point range. And their lead is 9. When did you stop loving me? The Nissan Altima ranked the best car in its class in initial economy. Financing for the Nissan Altima is now available at these special rates. I can. I can. I can. I can. I can. I can. Developing the Seiko Kinetic Watch, we applied for 50 patents. How could we fit them all inside? We took out the battery. Seiko Kinetic, the amazing quartz watch that never needs a battery. 102 to 93. First it was Dana Barrows and now Antoine Walker who had time to set this up. He's not known as a three-point shooter. But you can see he put that one on a tripod and just launched it. And of course, while we wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving, that includes our uh, crew, Rowan Backfish, our producer, Gary Lehman, our director, Marty Aronoff here at the table with us. And I hope everyone uh, has a fine Thanksgiving day. The rookies of L.A., 14, Walker with 19 and 11. A double-double for the rookie from Kentucky. Kobe Bryant has checked into the game. So the Lakers will have Bryant, Van Exel, Eddie Jones, Derek Fisher, and Shaquille O'Neal. Two rookies are in there, but where has Shaq been? Only three for five and eight points this half. He hasn't seen the ball. Now, he hasn't seen the ball, and in, when they did, oh, they forced him to call a timeout. At good least with one. Yeah, good defense that time. They got one timeout left. But again, on uh, what, what are they doing to prevent Shaq from getting chances here? Yeah, well, first of all, you have to, we brought the point out time and time again that the Lakers continue to go to high screen and rolls out on the wings rather than go into Shaq early. Now, Del Harris told us today that he likes to catch Shaq while he's moving. But still in all, in a game like this, he can overpower any player on the floor that the Celtics have to offer from a defensive standpoint. And, and you have to, when you're on the road, a lot of times you have to make perimeter people unhappy to understand that we're going to win this game down inside. And then force them to double and triple team, and then he will kick it out to you, and you will have a better th three-point opportunity. I want to remind you, the Heat and the Clippers come up next following our game from the Sports Arena. Jim Durham and Cheryl Miller will have that game for you. Second half of our TBS doubleheader. So, 
The uh, Celtics with a 102-93 lead with 133 remaining. Celtics with great balance. Dino Raja and Antoine Walker each with 19. Eric Williams, 16. Dave Navarro's 15. And Greg Miner, 14 off the bench. Shaq with 22. Eddie Jones, 19, the leading scorer for the Lakers. And they turn it over, trying to get it inside to Shaq. And a big one. That's a critical one. Look out for the traps now. Brown finds Antoine Walker. 118 to go in the fourth quarter. The Celtics appear to be in command of this one. Yeah. Get the ball in the middle and then kick the ball out wide and get it to your good foul shooter. And Rick Fox is fouled and will go to the line. So the Lakers' three-game road winning streak is in jeopardy here. Off to their best start in five years. And the Boston Celtics, who came into this game, with a record of three and five here at, on the parquet, headed for a victory. Fox on the free throw line. Fox with 11 points, five rebounds, and six assists. You always like to see the ball in the hands of your best foul shooters, and we tell you that Rick Fox is shooting at 80% this year. He's five for six from the line. Six of seven for Fox. And that matches the biggest lead of the game, and the crowd chanting, and it's been a while since we heard beat L.A. from the crowd here in Boston, but they've got to feel good about the way they play tonight. Now, they sure have, and they put together, you know, right close to the 48 minutes. It's, it's been nice to watch that they've accepted the responsibility. They've had a nice game plan by taking people off the dribble and neutralizing the size factor. But then again, L.A. has played into their hands with a lackadaisical defensive effort, and especially in their rotating and shot blocking in the second half. Rick Fox fouling out, as you saw, with 13 points. And uh, Dale Harris with a stoic look on his face as Derek Fisher on the free throw line for two. Well, let's look at L.A. here a second, Dick. Okay. This is their second trip to the East. Now, that's incredible. Plus, they've been to Texas. Plus, they have also been to Texas. They have played every Friday, Sunday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Now, that's difficult to do early in the year. And plus, they've had flu. They've had various injuries. They've lost Cedric Sabalas for six to eight weeks. So, with all of those problems, we talked to Del Harris today, 10 and 5 ain't all that bad at this stage, considering what they have gone through. That's correct. Uh, they've done a very nice job in spite of everything. And... You know, you can be picky and say, well, they if they lose this tonight, four back-to-backs, they win the first one, and they lose the second one in all, in all four back-to-back -back encounters. And then you say, well, they've lost to a lot of teams that are under 500 in that back-to-back -back game. Well, you have to also look at the total picture because in the second half of the season, the schedule's going to balance out in their favor. D. Brown missed both free throws. Kobe Bryant has it blocked. Inside, the block was by Dino Raja. Here's Dana Barros. With under a minute to go, the Celtics are going to beat the Lakers. Shaq committing the foul. And tonight's butt player of the game is Dino Raja, who scored 19 points, 9 rebounds on 50% from the floor. Interesting, with the great scoring balance, that the Boston Celtics have not had a 20-point scorer since the death of Reggie Lewis, which is amazing that uh, they have not had the big score at all. And this was a team that had many scores around 20 for many years. Well, you know, when you looked at the top 50 players in the history of the NBA, you know, it's just overpowered with how many Boston Celtics are, are in there. And then when you look at what happened here, you had the death of Len Bias, you had the death of Reggie Lewis, you had the retirement of Bird, McHale, and then Parrish moving on. And for those five great athletes, you got nothing in return. There was another member of one of those great teams, Dennis Johnson. He was Casey Jones, another assistant who, two of them, uh, won two titles. They won a lot more, but together they won two. Brett Zabo has come in the ball game for the Celtics in the waiting moments. Turnover. Eric Williams with a spectacular stuff to put the exclamation point on a Boston victory tonight. They lead 108 to 94 as we get close to a half a minute remaining in the game. Well, the people in the, that are here in attendance, 
they just want to see that effort night in and night out. And they're getting the effort even in losing games. Yes, and, and you can see they truly appreciate the effort here tonight against a quality team. What they want to see them do is play the teams that are 500 and below and execute with that same enthusiasm. Sabo and the crowd right. goes wild. Brett Sabo, who played in Germany last year and had been in the CBA since 1991, gets the basket to end it as the Celtics shoot 51% and score 110 against the LA Lakers. Listen to the crowd as they salute Boston. It is always special when the Celtics beat the Lakers. And they have taken the measure of the Lakers soundly to win 110 to 94. Shaquille O'Neal had one point in the fourth quarter of this game, ended up with 22. And a bunch of top scores for the Celtics again with the balance. Roger with 19, and Antoine Walker also had 19. And right now, Walker is with Dick Versace. Uh, clutch three. They've been waiting for somebody in a green and white shirt to hit some clutch threes since Larry Bird left. Tell us about that shot. Well, I, um, they didn't come on me. They was chopping and being very aggressive, so they left me wide open on the wing, and um, D kept telling me to shoot it, and I finally shot it, and I made it, so, you know, it came at the right time. But you're not known as a three-point shooter. Well, I could do a little bit of everything. I ain't going to say I can't be a knockdown shooter, but, you know, if you leave me open, I got the confidence that I can make it. Are you starting to feel the pride of wearing this Celtic uniform? I felt this since day one. We know we struggled early on, but now we know we're starting to put it together. Now we just won our last two games, and hopefully we can put it together for more than two games now. Now you've got a ball club here that's just got some players off the injured list. Do you think now that you can be a team that can maybe make a run for the eighth spot? Oh, of course. I think we can get higher than the eighth spot. It's very early. It's still, you know, 60-some-odd games left, and we're getting everybody back healthy. So if we continue to play together, we, we can make anything happen. All right, Antoine, congratulations. All right, thanks a lot. All right, Dick and you, be back to you. All right, 12 rebounds for Walker as the Celtics out-rebounded the Lakers by eight. And when we come back, we'll be joined in our studios by Vince and Reggie, and we'll see you shortly.